Let's climb into Trev's treehouse. So for the first step of this build, I had to silicone that tree fern panel to the back of the cage, and then I set a brick on top of it to make sure it got complete adhesion. And then I spray foamed that piece of wood that you see there, the large piece of wood with the curve to it. It's a piece of black wood, it's about $12. I spray foam that in, allowed the spray foam to cure for about 8 to 12 hours. Tore off the spray foam into the desired shape that you see so that it would allow silicone to adhere. Painted the black silicone in with a paintbrush. All anywhere there's exposed foam, because I don't want the animals to be able to ingest it. The silicone's non toxic, so that serves as a barrier, and then you can stick substrates to the silicone with the cocoa water make it look more naturalistic and hold moisture. And you can see I did that and then I also inserted those twigs in the tongs before the end of the foam. And I kind of use the silicone as cement to cement them into the foam. And close any gaps and you can see the silicone and the rest of it. And I just covered that up with cocoa bar to finish it all up. Morning geckos are a tropical species. They are indigenous to areas throughout Southeast Asia on the coastal regions and pretty much any coastal regions bordering the Indian and Pacific Oceans. They can also be found introduced in Hawaii, Costa Rica, you can find them in any tropical places throughout South, Central, and North America. I've even seen them at my house in Kentucky. Upwards of 95% of the species is female. They reproduce parthenogenically, which means that they basically clone their own gametes and use that to make their offspring. Of course, there are some males, but they're very rare and usually sterile. Morning geckos lay one to two eggs at a time and they glue them. I'll show that at the end of this video as well. This is one of the morning gecko juveniles I sold from this tank. The pictures coming up after this are pictures taken before I tore out the trade scanner from that tank. Thank y'all for watching. So it's almost impossible to see, but there's a gecko tail back there that is so microscopic. Because it is from the I'm gonna hatch really and I was like just barely holding out hope finally hatched, which means the other ones will be about another month or two.